What you guys got another video here for you. Does this PC repair program actually work? Now I get asked this question quite a bit and this one was from Howard. He was basically saying uh, System Mechanic Pro Unlimited uh, Defender. That's what he wanted me to take a look at. Now I see this question come up and I thought myself I'll make a quick video explaining what these programs are. So Outbyte PC repair is another one of these particular types of programs you'll see heavily advertised on Google and they use a lot of key phrases like PC repair tool, speed up Windows performance, speed up and clean up your PC and things like this because they know people search for it. And of course, what will happen is people stumble on these and eventually they end up buying it thinking that it's going to actually fix or PC repair their computer that's broken. But when you head over to Trustpilot, and have a look on there you can see there's plenty of disgruntled customers on here saying that uh, you know pushy pop-ups and uh, you know more ads on their programs and things like that this is common for this particular type of program what they're trying to do is upsell you to try and get you to buy their product or upgrade to the next level you can see here one star i'm giving you one star i could cannot give you zero it's crap and my pc stopped working after driver updates how many times do I tell you guys stop using driver update programs and things like that? You don't need to uh, go to the manufacturer's website and you won't have issues like this. You don't need to continue to update your drivers all the time. This software wrecked my computer. You can see here, there's another one here about wrecking his computer and it's just a bunch of them. The list goes on and on and on. Now, of course, you're gonna get the odd uh, negative review. That's just common with everything you buy. Uh, whether it'll be something like this or a pair of trousers or whatever it may be, it, you're always going to get someone who gives a negative review. But when you get tons of negative reviews, you have to sort of take note of that and say, well, hold on a sec. These are all in 2023, early 2023. So I can tell you it's not worth taking the risk and wasting your money. System Mechanic is the same. I wouldn't waste your money on it. You're just basically buying something that is not going to fix PC problems. These software companies have been doing this for years and it doesn't actually fix anything. And you can see massive, heavily discounted software. When you go to Trustpilot, again, more disgruntled customers, quite a lot. And these are going to be pretty new as well because people are getting stung by this sort of stuff every single day. You can see here, scam, avoid, auto renew right there. You can see this is how people get stung. They get into this auto renew and then the price goes right up and you end up paying a lot of money for these types of things. So two days ago, someone complained here, uh, you know, Windows 10 update nightmare. So be very, very careful when using this particular type of software, thinking that it's the solution to fix all your PC problems. All it's going to do is sometimes cause more problems than what you had before. I'll show you both of these programs. I'll install them and you'll see exactly what they do to your computer. Okay, so you can understand. Let's take a look at their websites. You can see here, there's always a discount going on with this particular types of software. They're always offering deals and, and discounts. When you look on the internet, there'll be people also promoting it. These are paid reviews as well. Get up to 50% off award-winning system mechanic. This has been out for quite a few years, but it's made by an American company, I think, uh, this software. So you can see here, once you get it paid for, you'll get it installed in your PC. But what are you actually getting from this software once it's on your system? Is it actually going to be keeping your system running in tip top condition and stopping it from breaking? And it will be able to fix all those PC problems that they sort of tend to claim on their websites. And the short answer to that is no, it's not going to be able to fix problems on your computer. They just use all that uh, blurb on their websites to con you and get you to buy the software. And uh, you know, there's not many people telling you about this sort of stuff because they earn money from it. They have affiliated links on their websites, banners, ads, all this sort of stuff. The software looks really fantastic as you can see here. Now, like I've said before, these sort of software come with bundles in them and you have to buy extra add-ons with the crown next to them. You can see here, driver up data, always get your drivers from the Motherboard Manufacturer's website for free. And you also got their uh, AV armor, which is also using the Avira uh, signatures from their site for their antivirus. And again, you don't need to use a uh, driver updater or AV armor 
Uh, there's much better solutions out there for free. And you've got a VPN, which they're promoting as well. Again, I don't know the sort of credibility of this VPN, but again, you can do your research on it. Now, there's no real need to buy any of this stuff because there is free options available apart from the VPN, but do you really need one? But let's talk about the actual software itself. So you can see Scan detected 20 items and also it found 308 megabytes of junk files. So let's have a look more in detail. App crashes. Well, app crashes are just regular little apps crashing here. You can see Internet Explorer. And uh, there's a bunch of other little stuff inside here. Anytime something like this happens, it will log it. But guess what? These logs are also inside your Windows system. It's just pulling information from here. And you can see if you look in here on the system logs, you'll see there's errors on here and it will just pull these errors in. And this is exactly what it will do. So you don't need to spend money on software to do exactly what Windows will do for you for free. Advertising ID, again, it's already disabled. I've disabled this. You could disable this for free inside Windows. I've shown you how to do this in previous videos. So if you're watching my previous videos, you'd already know. Real-time privacy protection. What is this all about? Well, if you look here, it's all about services, startup, diode track, and also there's another one on here, WMP Network SVC. So you can go into the services and you'll see right here, there they are. And it's going to be monitoring this. Well, if you don't want it on, just set it to manual and it won't be running. It's not even running. So you won't be able to have this running if you just have it set to manual or disabled. So that's all you need to do is go into services and turn it off. And there's no need for that monitoring software. And this is how this software works. It's basically pulling information from your system and glorifying it and making it sound like you've got major errors with your computer. Registry clean the PC to fix all these bad errors. And this is how it works. It's sort of, you know, snake oil, really, a snake oil salesman. And uh, you can enable this. It's recommended. There's another one here. Uh, daily cleanup, browser history and cookies. Well, you can do that in Windows. Again, enable file shredder. I really wouldn't do this with an SSD. If you've got uh, an NVMe drive or SSD and you're enabling this, this is just putting wear and tear. On your drive, I would not enable that feature at all. Again, enable safe uh, web search. And uh, I think it's self-explanatory, that one. Going on down to the password advice. And also we've got website notifications, uh, vulnerabilities, as you can see here. Uh, there's a couple of these. Uh, enable smart card here. And again, if you activate to remove and resolve this issue, you'd have to buy the software. So you will get a bit of that going on. There's some tweaks here, not many tweaks here, but there is some network protocol and also advertising websites and PUA and security. That, that is here. No potentially unwanted objects detected. Uh, that's because I haven't downloaded and installed any, but this will tell me apparently if I had any. And again, this is probably comes under the potentially unwanted applications group itself as ESET did try to block it when I tried to install it. So I had to disable my antivirus program. Fully uninstall applications, you can do this inside Windows itself, so no real need to do that. Let's take a look at the system mechanic. What else you get in here? Real-time protection from Kaspersky, which is already installed on my system. And again, you can do a scan on your system here. And uh, once you do this, it will tell you a bunch of things like install uh, some browsers, password manager, uh, nothing too fancy here. Moving on down to the settings area. Let's have a little look here. Let's do a quick scan and fix some of these issues because I've got major issues with the PC apparently. And uh, we're going to go ahead and it's found 1,583. Most of these are probably going to be log files or temporary internet files that are just rubbish, but makes it look good when you see all them big high numbers. So we're going to get NetBoost going on, uh, internet cleanup, Windows cleanup, registry cleanup, and uh, security optimizer program accelerator and memory mechanic. You can run this on here. So let's go ahead and run that. And we'll start doing a deep clean and optimize our system. Now, this is where you've got to be careful because now your ISP will be dealing with your uh, speed that you purchase and you should be getting optimal speeds of your internet and they will take care of all of that. So tweaking the MTU is not really going to give you any more speed than what your ISP is delivering you. But again, if you start doing the optimize now, it's going to say confirm internet settings optimization. And again, it's going to make a few changes, probably change 
maybe a DNS or something like that. And uh, we're going to go to the next level and uh, clear out some junk files. So this is what it's going to do. And you can see here, there's the junk files that it's going to clear out. Only 245 uh, in size, not megabytes. That was uh, bytes. So not that big at all. But it's going to clean them. And uh, we're going to go on to Windows Cleanup now. And it's now going to clean up some log files that it found. It found five of them, which was taking up a whopping 2.46 megabytes. Well, I mean, wow, really? And, uh, you know, Windows Cleanup again, another 2.46 megabytes removed from there. Registry Cleanup now, it's going to go through my registry and clean up my uh, really bad uh, registry here that needs cleaning. It's found one item. And uh, that is all it's found here. So this is what you're going to get sucked into. And you're going to end up buying this software for something that's not really necessary. And, uh, you know, you're going to get pop-ups like this popping up all the time as well. Becomes a bit annoying. And the Network Security Optimizer has found five items. And I'm just going to quickly optimize these as well, just for your viewing. And you can see that's now done. And it won't make one bit of difference to my PC. And there's probably more chance that it's going to actually break something. So I would tend to leave a lot of this stuff alone. It hasn't done a huge amount to my computer. And people get sucked into this sort of stuff. Oh, memory mechanic is starting to do some work on my system here. RAM before 12.12 gigabytes and in use 3.88 gigabytes. And all it's going to do is clear it a little bit. So let's go ahead and run this program. And we'll see what it does. And there you go. It's just cleared it. That's all. And uh, it hasn't come back. But that, as soon as you start using your computer, that's going to go back up again. So, you know, it's just smoke and mirrors, really, to con you into thinking that you've gained something or your system is fully optimized. And uh, it really hasn't done anything to your system, really, apart from just remove a few log files and a few junk files. Now, part of the blame has to go to big major websites like these ones here that promote this particular type of software. And sometimes some of these sites will even use affiliate links to these where they can get a kickback when they promote it. So there's lots of sites like these big websites that have a lot of clout and they use this to promote them. So these companies will approach these and offer them, uh, you know, certain deals to promote them. And then what will happen is when you go to that website, they will put that website on there saying recommended by X, Y, and Z, whoever is actually promoting it. So this is where you have to be careful because they can have quite a big influence over people when people stumble on this website. So if you look right here, it will say PC Mag right here. The most improved performance of all PC tune-up utilities tested on PCMag.com. Also, you're going to see a bunch of blurb on here with loads of uh, you know buzzwords and things like that, repairs PC problems and finds and fixes over 30,000 different problems. That's a big, bold statement right there. And of course, you'll see other things like unleashes internet speed. Now, your ISP is the only person who can speed up your internet speed. A piece of software is not going to be able to do that. And the other software I was showing you also promotes VPN software built into their software. So how are you going to get performance in internet speed when you're using a VPN, when this will kill your internet speed? Now, of course, if you're stumbling on these particular types of websites or you're watching some video where someone is promoting this sort of stuff, you can actually get sucked in to believe a lot of the spiel that they're putting on their websites. So be very, very careful in what you're watching and what you're reading online, because not all of it is going to be true and a lot of it is just sort of misleading and make you feel that you're getting a super fast PC when really it's just a placebo. You're not actually going to be able to speed up your PC at all. And this sort of hard sell has been going on for many, many years with registry cleaners and boosters and all sorts of nonsense that actually tries to get people pulled in to think that their PC is going to run a lot faster with this on their PC. So don't get falling for this sort of snake oil salesman uh, sort of software. It's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to fix your PC or fix proper PC problems. And it will more than likely uh, create more problems than fix problems. And that's just my personal opinion. And I've been doing PCs for many, many years. Anyway, I hope this video has been sort of some sort of use to you. 
And uh, I know I've made a video similar to this before, but I just want to get that point over to a couple of people that have commented and left these comments so they can understand uh, it's not worth wasting your money on this particular types of software. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now. Thank you.